And finally tonight, we bring you the story of Marishka Podolko, a Ukrainian news anchor whose life has been turned upside down by the war and family has been separated by conflict. But now she is taking action and participating in one of the most prestigious sporting events in an effort to bring needed resources to her country, one step at a time. Lindsay Davis has that story. Running has always been kind of entertainment and something that helped me to live through this year. I was really distracted from some terrible things taking place in my country, and now running is my biggest therapy. Like many of her fellow Ukrainians, Marichka Podolko has had to adjust to a new way of life in the midst of war, a war that she lives and covers as a news anchor. Needless to say, it's a stressful time, and to cope, she runs. We last saw her in January, living in a dark Kiev apartment with her son. The power had just gone out. We have charged power banks, we have headlights, candles, and we have plans what to do when there is no electricity. Yeah. <laughs> the more I suffer, the less chances Russia has to win, and the more chances we have for victory. Suffering takes many forms in Ukraine. One of them is distance. Marichka's daughters are almost 900 miles away, living in Prague, where it's safer. Her husband, Igor, is a sergeant on Ukraine's front lines. Like many Ukrainian families, hers is torn apart by war. One year into the invasion, Ukrainians know their safety is never guaranteed. The bridge Marichka often runs on was targeted by the Russians, but they missed, and now Marichka continues her training there. Her dedication and perseverance led to a call in December. I got an unexpected call from a Ukrainian charity organization based in Boston. You know, not every day you are asked to run a Boston Marathon. And of course I said yes, so I think it will be my personal victory if I do this. my beep number so I'll be officially a participant. I'm feeling very excited. Hello. Hello. I saw people having their medals for their 5k races and I always feel very envious when I see people with medals because I know that their mission is over and they can celebrate and my mission is still to come. Thank you. Her mission is to run the Boston Marathon for Sunflower of Peace, a Boston-based nonprofit that provides medical bags to paramedics and first aid responders on Ukraine's front lines. Uh, first of all, it's an honor to have you. You know, we've been waiting for you. Everyone is uh, unfortunately touched uh, by this war. Which means everybody yeah. will be touched by our victory. Absolutely. Each backpack can say up to 12 wives. Behind you, you see spleens, burn dressings, uh, elastic bandages, uh, quick cloths. Uh, this is more important and most needed items. We put as much dressing as we could to fit because this is essential for all the wounds that they have. That was my first point for coming here because I would never come in the middle of the war, run a marathon in a different country just for myself. This is for hypothermia prevention. Uh, no, the only reason I agreed, I thought it was going to make an impact. Me being an ambassador for Sunflower of Peace will help them to raise more money for the organization. this she's run two marathons both in Kiev, both before the war right alongside her husband but this time she runs alone as her husband fights running together was a family thing every time he runs with me supports me i'm feeling that i'm uh, here for the two of us on my t-shirt maybe i would like to have two names but the other name is in my heart
morning, I like to do the daydreaming. And my biggest daydream is announced uh, on TV about the end of the war and about Ukraine's victory. I go to meet my husband when he comes back. The five of us uh, go together for the victory parade. It is a local, it is a national, and it is a global event. Four hours and 53 minutes later, under gray, rainy skies, Marichka is one of 30,000 other runners. She proudly waves the Ukrainian flag while crossing the finish line. Go, Victorious at last. Finishing her first Boston and international marathon, she's overwhelmed with emotion. I gave high five everyone's Ukrainian flag. I hug everyone. So that's why it took a little bit longer. I always get emotional when I see Ukrainian flags. Draped in her blue and yellow medal. Congratulations. The same colors as her flag. Her first call is to her husband in Ukraine. It's especially poignant for Marichka, who ran on U.S. soil for a U.S. charity that's helping Ukraine. She's grateful to the country that's helped her homeland this past year and committing to help for the long road ahead. There's so little we can do now to thank the United States, but me being here and saying thank you to everyone I meet and during the marathon race is a small contribution. That was an incredible story. Our thanks to Lindsay Davis for that. And that's our show tonight. I'm Kana Whitworth. ABC News Live is here for you all night long with all the latest news, context, and analysis.